Republicans yesterday lost the Wisconsin Supreme Court race as well. There was something very interesting that happened in Chicago that's connected with Wisconsin in my mind. Well, two things, actually. Th this guy, the new mayor, Brandon Johnson, the, most of the ads that he did against Paul Vallis were about abortion. Because 10 years or so ago, Paul Vallis said something mildly supportive of a pro-life position. Mm -hmm. But then said, but I just want everybody to do their own thing. But for me personally, I would be pro-life. So they tagged him as a pro-life crazy nut. And there was no response on it. And that has nothing to do with the running of a city. Now go ne next door to Wisconsin. Republicans lose by 10 points. Mm -hmm. Now, they won a lot of the conservative ballot issues, the issues that are on the ballot. But the candidate on the Republican Supreme Court case, he lost by 10 points. And Republicans used to be able to count on their voters turning out in the midterms. But the left has really woken up to making sure that Gen Z gets out and vote. If you look at the vote and where it came from, especially in Wisconsin, at the University of Madison, for example, University of Wisconsin in Madison, it was staggering. The numbers are staggering, and that is going to happen all across the country. Yeah.